Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kino with stemwithkino.com, and today I'd like to talk about longitudinal stability. Um, let's get in here. Okay. Longitudinal stability, longitudinal stability of an airplane involves the pitching motion or the tendency of the aircraft to move about its lateral axis. So right now this is the pitching moment where we can see that the airplane is moving about its lateral axis. From the side view we can see that the nose is moving up and down, up and down. And if we go into the aircraft, we're pitching up the nose, the dashboard is going above the horizon. And if we're pitch nose downward, the nose is going below. So this is the pitching moment about the lateral axis. And from inside the aircraft, the side view comes up comes down. So you will actually lose the view, the forward view of the horizon, and you will have to rely on the um, side views. All right, so an airplane which is longitudinal, longitudinally stable uh, will tend to return to its original trim condition. And you can see that the aircraft is doing that. It is doing a little porpoising, a little nose up and nose down, but the airplane is longitudinally stable and it is trying to get back to its original position that it was at when we were flying, if it is properly trimmed. A longitudinally unstable airplane would actually be worse. It would be going up nose higher and then nose lower after displacement. You know what I'm saying? So when we bring ourselves to a level flight condition and we just pull up like this, just notice that the airplane is going to try to return because it is longitudinally stable. When we come to the outside of the aircraft, uh, there's a couple factors that make an aircraft longitudinally stable. Um, this would be the center of lift, or what we call center of pressure, and the center of gravity. And I'm going to go into a little bit of an illustration outside of the simulator in a moment here. So, Think of the center of pressure as where all the lift from the wing being generated is concentrated. And it tends to be kind of somewhere back here a little bit. Right. Uh, the center of gravity tends to be uh, a little bit forward, probably somewhere around here. All right. So it's a balancing act. And balance is what I was going to talk about next. So um, you'll see a little bit better in, in illustration but the center of gravity is important because there's a forward limit and there's a rear limit that we need to be concerned with to play in conjunction with the center of pressure. So we don't want CG or center of gravity too far forward and we don't want it too far back. Um, center of gravity after the pilot, passengers, fuel, cargo, oil into this thing, the center of gravity is gonna, is gonna rest somewhere and we'll get the center of gravity down the road a little bit because there are some adverse conditions that we can get ourselves into if the center of gravity is too far after or too far forward. We'll talk about that in a moment. Right. Um, so longitudinal stability uh, is a balancing act between center of gravity and your center of pressure. Let's go to an illustration. Okay, here is our illustration. So uh, we're looking at an airplane, and let's kind of, I guess, point this in the same direction as the airplane we saw in the video, because it was going from the left to the right. So let's turn this around and stretch that out and stuff. Okay, very good. Okay, so the aircraft is flying in that direction, and basically the center of gravity, after we put in the pilot, passengers, fuel, cargo, and all that stuff, the center of gravity is going to rest somewhere along um, the longitudinal axis. All right. And then we start flying. Didn't want to do that. Uh, we start flying. And the center of lift, or center of pressure, is where all the aerodynamic force is going to be concentrated. So. It, the CG plays a part because we don't want the CG too far forward. Like we had a whole bunch of heavy passengers and cargo in the forward area of the plane because then the airplane would be, I'm uh, sorry guys, 
then the airplane will be nose heavy. Okay, and we cannot round out and flare because when we land, we actually want to touch down like this with a slightly nose upward attitude. And then, you know, we want the, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get this. Then we want the airplane to settle down to the runway. So if we were nose heavy, um, if the CG was too far forward, when we tried to attempt that, we couldn't round out and flare and that could cause an accident. And this would be like the ground or surface of runway. All right. If we had a situation where the center of gravity was too far to the rear, like the cargo sections were like overloaded or too heavy, and it'd be ahead of the center of uh, pressure, then we would get ourselves in a no high condition, right? And this would be very, very bad because the pilot and crew would have to just keep fighting to get the nose down and stuff like that. And that's not conducive for, you know, level flight operations. Actually, when we're like in cruise, we're kind of like slightly nose downward because the wings are generating so much lift. But uh, let's stay on topic. So if let's say we were in a takeoff configuration and the center of gravity was too far back, okay? Um, then, you know, if we had to recover from a stall, it would be, like, like literally impossible. All right. So uh, that, oh, sorry, wrong photo. That is not the desired condition we want. We want our aircraft loaded such that uh, the center of gravity and the center of pressure are... Just like you know, they're 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 playing with each other nicely, like two kids, and on a seesaw. All right. Uh, we don't want the CG too far forward, and we don't want it too far aft, because then we'll get some undesirable flight conditions and stuff. So um, we'll close it out right there. Um, I'll talk to you guys next video. Bye bye.